KSL News at 6 starts now. Good evening. Our top story tonight, team coverage with new information about what authorities knew about a former YouTuber accused of abusing her children and when. Police records first obtained by the KSL investigators today reveal several visits to Ruby Frankie's Springville home last year. We'll begin with KSL investigator Daniela Rivera, who just this evening obtained a recording of 911 calls that started this criminal case. Daniela? Well, Mike and Dini, we want folks to know this call is difficult to listen to. We are now hearing what police dispatchers heard as they were asked to respond to Jody Hildebrandt's home a week ago after Ruby Frankie's child escaped and went to a neighbor's home for help. His ankles are taped up and he won't tell us why. This kid has obviously been... I think he's been... He's been detained. He's been... He's obviously covered in wounds. Now, for years, Ruby Frankie would call police from time to time to report things like juveniles playing pranks in her neighborhood. But last year, that changed as others with concerns about Frankie's children started calling for help. And what we've learned now raises questions about whether authorities could have intervened sooner. Connections. I'm Jody Hildebrandt. And I'm Ruby Frankie. Sharing parenting so advice online, Ruby Frankie and her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, regularly released videos like this one that police say were filmed in Hildebrandt's Ivan's home. You're not going to hear anything like this in any parenting book. The same home one of Frankie's children escaped from a week ago, prompting an investigation and felony child abuse charges against both women. Now, records obtained by the KSL investigators from Springville Police reveal officers responded to Frankie's home in Springville 15 times between March 2019 and last week. And at least five of those visits were to assist Utah's Division of Child and Family Services. In April 2022, records show DCFS asked Springville PD to drive through the neighborhood. They'd received a report about children running out in the road unsupervised. Police responded but didn't see any kids. Then in September last year, Frankie's oldest daughter, now an adult, asked police to check on her younger siblings after hearing from neighbors that Frankie had left them home alone in Springville for days. According to police records, the kids were seen through the windows but would not answer the door. But neighbors told officers Ruby Frankie would leave her children home for extended periods of time and go to St. George to spend time with her friend, Jody Hildebrandt. And they were very concerned about the children. Records show police went back to the Springville home four more times after that to assist DCFS. In a statement, the Child Welfare Agency said it cannot release any information, citing confidentiality and privacy concerns. We also asked whether DCFS is reviewing its prior involvement with the Frankie family to determine whether policies and best practices were followed. DCFS has not answered that question. Mike and Dini. Insightful look into this. Daniela, thank you. And as we continue to learn more about these disturbing allegations in this case, we're also hearing for the first time from neighbors. New special Shelby Lofton continues her team coverage tonight. She is live in Utah County with more. Shelby. Yeah, Mike and Dini, we spoke with several neighbors and they did not want to go on camera citing some privacy concerns that they had, but they said that they saw the red flags coming from the Frankie household and they did try to help these children. The neighbors told us it was a very frequent that they saw the Frankie children out playing in the neighborhood with other children were walking to church until a few months ago, and that's when everything changed. Multiple neighbors told us that's when Ruby and her younger children stopped showing up to church, and they didn't see very much of the kids outside the home. Mothers here told me it was clear. The Frankies were very strict with their children. They said when the Frankie children were over for playdates, they would make comments about not being allowed to have food or drinks when they were being disciplined. Neighbors were aware others in the community had contacted authorities about this situation. They said the behavior they saw was hard to label as abuse. They had suspicions the children were being mistreated but didn't have concrete evidence of it, especially not evidence of physical abuse. Neighbors told me everyone noticed the Frankie's windows being covered in paper earlier this year. We drove by the Frankie's house today. No one looked like they were home, but the front door, which looks like it's cracked, is covered in several strips of black tape. 
Neighbors told us Kevin Frankie, Ruby's husband, moved out of the family home about one year ago. I talked to his lawyer today. He says Kevin Frankie is now back at that address. Many are asking where Kevin stands in this child abuse investigation, and I reached out to his lawyer for comment. He told me in part, quote, Kevin is a very kind, very soft-spoken guy. He's been a great dad, and he is following the guidance of the juvenile court. He, his lawyer also pointed out that Kevin has not been charged or arrested. A neighbor said around the time Kevin moved out is when Ruby started working closely with life coach Jody Hildebrandt. She is the owner of the Ivan's home where police say one of the Frankie children escaped out of that window. And we know that Jody and Ruby are both being held at the Purgatory Correctional Facility. We know that they both have a court hearing down in St. George this coming Friday and KSL will have coverage of that hearing and we'll let you know what comes out of it. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, quite a bit to sort out here. All right, thank you much. Stay with KSL as we continue following the case against this former mommy influencer. To get caught up on what we know so far and get alerts when new details emerge, just download the KSL Plus app on your Android or your iOS device.